Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching when it's statics and we're going to do problem 3.3, okay? It says, determine the magnitude and direction theta of the force F so that the particle is in equilibrium. So we got four forces in total, we got a 5 kilonewtons going to the X direction uh, to the right. We have 8 kilonewtons that is going left and up and they're giving us the angle. We also have these four kilonewtons that is going down and left and last we got our force f that is our unknown and it's unknown direction okay so we're in order to solve this where we're going to do the equilibrium equation so we're going to add other forces in the x direction so let's if we add all the forces in the x direction we got five kilonewtons positive minus the 8 kilonewtons multiplied by the cosine of 30 so 8 cosine of 30 degrees minus the 4 kilonewtons multiplied by the cosine of 60 4 cosine of 60 and we got also plus the force F that is going to the right but if we check that out this guy, the sign, is the one that is going to give me the x amount because it's the opposite of the angle. So we're going to have f sine, oops, sine of theta equals zero. Okay? So let's clean this guy a little bit and let's do these numbers. That way we have this equation a little bit cleaner. So we got 5 minus 8 multiplied by the cosine of 30 minus 4 cosine of 60 that gives me a total of 3.9 it's a negative and if i pass it to the other side it will become positive so if i got f sine of theta will be equal to 3.93 kilonewtons okay now since we have two unknowns, I need an extra equation to find them. So let's do the summatory of forces in the y direction. And we get my 8 kilonewtons is going up. And then the sine will give me the amount. So 8 sine of 30 degrees minus the 4 kilonewtons multiplied by the sine of 64 sine of 60 degrees minus my force that f that is going down now this time the amount that's going in the y direction is given by the adjacent of this angle so we're gonna use f cosine of theta should be equal to zero Okay, so let's clean this guy. I'm gonna pass this guy to the other side so it becomes positive and we'll leave the numbers on this side. So we get 8 sine of 30 degrees minus 4 sine of 60 degrees. It's equal to 0 0.536 equal to F cosine of theta okay so what we can do is that we can solve our f in here in this equation so we got two equations equation one equation two so if we solve for f in equation two we get f it's equal to 0 0.536 divided by the cosine of theta okay now having this as solving here, we can plug it back in, in equation one. So we're, ha we're gonna have 0 0.536 divided by the cosine of theta multiplied by the sine of theta. It's equal to 3.93 kilonewtons. Okay, now, what we're going to do is that this sine and cosine, sine divided by cosine, gives me a tangent of theta. And then I'm going to move this number all the way down here to divide, and let's check what we get. So it's 3.93 divided by the 0 0.536, and we get equal to 
three kilonewtons in this case. And if we want to solve our theta, we're going to do the inverse tangent. So inverse tangent of my 7.33. And that should be equal to inverse tangent of 7.33 is equal to 82.2 degrees. Okay, so we found its angle theta. Now we can solve for f in this equation. So we got that it's going to be equal to 0 0.536 all divided by the cosine of 82.2 degrees and where's this equal to let's check that out so we get the 0 0.536 divided by the cosine of 82.2 and that's equal to 3.95 kilo units okay thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video and thank you